Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 59. I'm going to start the episode off with a few medium clues. I uh, don't really have a goal in mind in terms of how many I want to do, but range boots, I need them. I've got the vacation crystal, I've had it for a very long time, so it would be nice to finally make the uh, vacation boots. Um, otherwise, for the rest of the episode, I've got a Hydra task, which... Um, I do want to do at some point to get the leather for the ferocious gloves, but um, they're releasing the Hydra head which you can add to the Slayer Helm, which I kind of, kind of want to get, um, and I think the update probably would happen within the next week or so, so I might save my task for that because once I've got the leather I'm probably less inclined to go back to Hydra, um, so that, that might happen this episode or not, I'm not too sure. Um, otherwise I think I might give God Wars a go, possibly go to Bandos, we'll see. Um, but hope you guys enjoy whatever happens in the rest of this episode. Oh! Master Clue, okay. From a medium. So I guess I'm just going to drop that one and uh, try and complete this one instead. I think that's the, uh, the most sensible thing to do. Looks like a wilderness step, that's fine. Um, yeah, that one on the floor is on step seven, so hopefully I can complete this because I don't really fancy juggling them. Um, let's give it a go. All right, well, uh, thankfully managed to complete the master clue. Let's see if we get anything good. Um, no. All right, another day, another Hespori. What can we get this time? Chronos Seeds and Quam Seeds. That's alright, I'll take that. First time seeing a Dragon Impling inside Puro Puro. And I managed to get it. Four Summer Pies. That's not actually too bad because I will use those for agility training at some point. Um, yeah, just continuing on with these medium clues. Alright, number 17. Oh, still no bucket. Ooh, another master clue. Let's see if we can uh, do this one. Well, I can do the first step at least. Hopefully, can complete it. Ah, well, um, that's problematic. Oh, that solves that little problem. Next clue, I get another master. So we'll try and do that one instead. Oh, I could not do this step for the longest time, but um, 87 with a plus 3 boost, that will be absolutely no problem whatsoever. Alright, well we managed to complete the master clue, what can we get? Two magic seeds. That's actually a pretty decent clue. Um, some runite ore as well, I'm pretty pleased with that. Oh my god, that is a monstrous clue. Three uniques, um, I don't think I've had any of those. I mean, it's not worth much, but... Pretty cool to see. Okay, this is my 200th medium clue. What can we get? Bucket Helm. Um, yeah, that's pretty shit to be honest, but um, that's most of the medium clues. I, I think I've done like 34 now, and this one and the last clip are the only two that have been... Well, this one wasn't even worth showing, but I showed it anyway. So with the latest update, they have added the Hydra head to the uh, Alchemical Hydra drop table. I've got a task of uh, 187. Um, I would really like to get the head to recolor the Slayer Helm because I've not actually got any um, recolored Slayer Helms at the moment. I think the Hydra one looks um, pretty cool. And obviously still need to get the leather for the Ferocious Gloves. So um, yeah, it would be nice to get both of those drops within this task. We shall see. All right, so got an Elite Clue from Hydra. What can we get? Um, yeah, that's not the best elite clue, uh, 200k reward. Hey, another PB on the Hespori, number 19, what can we get? Magic Seed, Anachronos Seed, not too bad. Yes, I got them, the Hydra Heads, so I can use them on the Slay Helm, and I'll go and do that now, and recolor it, so last drop I need as it was before, it's still the uh, the Hydra Leather. Alright, so it costs a thousand points to unlock, but I'm more than happy to pay that, and um, 
I've been pretty much saving up points uh, to unlock a helm recolor anyway, so we'll just go ahead and combine that. We have a unique model for the Slayer Helm that looks incredible. Um, it goes pretty well with the Barrow's armor, um, which I use for Slayer a lot of the time anyway. Um, and it will probably match Bandos when I do eventually get that. Um, I think that looks really, really cool, and I'm very pleased to get that. That's pretty cool. That's my first Brimstone key, which basically just replaces the uh, Konar drop table loot that was uh, previously available. I don't know whether to save these up or just unlock them as I go, but um, it's nice that they are stackable, to be honest. Another really quick Hespori, 40 seconds, number 20, what can we get? Redwood Seed and Atas, not too bad. All right, got a hard and an elite clue from Hydra. We'll start with the hard. Rune Cane, never had that before. And the elite for pretty standard reward. Got about 30 Hydras left. Um, so unlikely I'll get the leather this task and I'm over 800 KC now, um, but hopefully next task, if I don't get it this one, we'll be able to wrap up that boss. Well, with only five kills left, on the task did finally get a unique and that is the Hydra's Fang. So we'll of course need the heart if I want to complete a third brimstone ring. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do if I get the leather and don't have the complete set for the ring. Might just end up dropping those to be honest. Alright, finished the task. So up to 832 Alchemical Hydra KC now and I got six brimstone keys from the task. Um, these are the first six keys that I've had, so I'm just going to go ahead and see what we can get from the chest. Pretty standard stuff so far. Magic seeds, very nice. Ranar seeds, very nice. Yeah, let's uh, do a quick little price check. One mil, not too bad. Alright, Hespori number 21. Four Whiteberry seeds and two Atas seeds. Hespori number 22, Kronos Seeds and Lantadimes. I will get the bucket one day. I have actually been doing other stuff besides Hespori, but just nothing clip worthy. That's not really clip worthy either, is it? Spirit Seed, I guess that's a decent chunk of farming XP, but I just want the bucket. And that is my second Jar of Dirt. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Might put it in the bank. Don't think you can put duplicates in the house, unfortunately. Um, I still can't remember how rare that is, to be perfectly honest. Got an elite clue from a Kraken task. What can we get? Summer pies. I'll take those for the agility training. Not too bad. Um, I've actually got a cow fight task from Konar in the cow fight lair, so we're going to do some KQ, I think. Well, if you weren't aware, I have um, ridiculous luck with getting cow fight queen heads, and that is another one. Maybe number eight? Um, not really sure. Just don't really know what to do with them. I think they're um, adding an update where you might actually be able to get some use out of them. Um, so that'd be quite nice. So the official drop rate of the bottomless bucket has been confirmed as 1 out of 35, which is higher than I was expecting and probably quite a few others. Um, I think the consensus was that everybody thought it was going to be 1 in 16, but um, up to 25kc now, so hopefully you can get it before 35. And that is 98 attack. So 1.2 mil to 99. I'm also 1 mil XP away from 99 defense, 350k XP away from 99 Slayer, and 290k XP away from 99 Magic. So closing in on four different 99s now. Ooh, that is a nice clue. Zami D High Boots, which I definitely don't have, and a Master Clue, which I will hopefully be able to complete. All right, thankfully did manage to complete the master clue. I had to go into the wilderness to kill a Chaos Fanatic to get a split bark body, um, but thankfully didn't take too long. What can we get? A few archibalds, uh, nothing too special there. Got two clue scrolls coming in, a hard and an elite. Nothing from the hard. 
and nothing too special from the Elite either. 2000 Kraken KC looks very nice. Um, got four Kraken tentacles and you need 10 to upgrade the trident so if I got them on drop rate it would be over 5k kills which would take ages. I don't have the tasks extended just because I can't be bothered to do 200 Kraken at once so I may not actually end up going for the uh, the extended trident but yeah they're nice tasks to do now and again the sand fuse are good for a few things so I don't mind doing them for the time being. And another Hespori what can we get? Oh <laughs> that was my maple sapling in my inventory that was uh, maturing. Um, Atas seed and three qualms yeah, Bucket will come eventually. Big level coming in. This is 99 Magic. Um, been quite lucky today with uh, Slayer Tasks. Had a few um, Bursts and Barrage Tasks, which has finished this off quite nicely. I'm definitely going to go and pick up the Cape because that's going to be quite useful to have in the bank. But I will finish this task first. Um, and yeah, getting very, very close to 99 Slayer as well now. All right, so let's go ahead and buy the cape. I think it is going to have some uses for me, so I'm going to give up a bank space to keep it. Um, I don't have a second scepter at the moment, so I haven't been able to make the occult altar. Um, so yeah, it might be handy. Give the uh, give the emote a go. Looks pretty decent. But yeah, um, maybe for farm runs or something like that, I might be able to use it. Um, just saves me having to run to the desert to change on to ancients. Um, but yeah, another 99 knocked out. Slayer would probably be the next one, I would say. And unfortunately, that is it for today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Quite nice to finish on another 99. And definitely in the next episode, I'll be aiming to get uh, 99 Slayer. That shouldn't take too long. And hopefully 99 Attack and Defense as well. Um, wouldn't mind getting another Hydra task and finishing that off. Because I'd quite like to move back to Duradel Slayer, to be perfectly honest. But... Um, we shall see. Thank you again for watching and uh, hopefully see you guys in time for the next episode. Take care.